film. His newest film, The Basketball Diaries, opens on Friday, and that also is getting tremendous reviews. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the program Leonardo DiCaprio. Here we go. Have you filed your income tax returns yet? No, I don't do my taxes. Oh, oh. My mom does them for me. Is mom reliable? My mom's very reliable, That's yeah. That's right. Good. Would you like a steak dinner? Can we get you a nice, big, thick steak? No, thanks, Dave. <laughs> Tell me uh, a little bit about your, your name, if you don't mind. Leonardo DiCaprio. It is a very uh, rhythmic, very poetic sort of sounding name. Very nice. Well, Lovely thank name. you. Thank is, you very Is much. there a story about that? Your parents have Actually, something? Actually, I do have a story about my let, name. Let me hear it. Well, the first time I got an agent, uh, they thought my How name... How old were you? I was about uh, six years old, seven years old. You got an agent at six well, years old. Well, I tried old. to get an agent, right. but I didn't succeed because they wanted to change my name to uh, Lenny Williams. They, didn't, they thought my name was a little too ethnic, so they sort of dissected it and said, hey, Leonardo, Lenny, my middle name's Wilhelm, so they changed that to Williams. Well, no, wait, I didn't let's want to, I let's didn't get want back to your given name again. Leonardo Wilhelm DiCaprio? Yeah, that's my name. Wow, that's a good one. That's great. Thanks. Uh, and, and why is it that your folks selected an Italian-sounding name and then a German-sounding name and your well, my last... mother's German and my dad's Italian. There you go. There's an answer for every story in this life. <laughs> All part of God's great plan, isn't it? So, when you, when you were six years old, how did you get into show business? What were you... You were just, like, going to school, and then one day you said, I want to be in show business. Well, the first time was actually on TV. I was on TV at about three years old. Have you ever seen Romper Room, that television Are show? you kidding? <laughs> Try and keep me away from Romper Room. Well, it was my favorite show at the time, and I, I just absolutely loved the show, and I used to sing the songs at home and everything. Let's hear one. And, uh, oh, God. Come on. It's too far away. I can't remember. Come on, Wilhelm. Let's go, buddy. So I went on Romp Room, right, and I was completely <laughs> excited. They had a little circle, and they were all singing and dancing and stuff like uh -huh. that, but I was too excited to be on camera, so I was running up and slapping the cameras and stuff like that and screaming and looking inside the camera. I tried to pull my mom on stage, and then finally I was too much to handle, so they completely kicked me off You were 86. You were tossed. You were adios. I was adios. And were you, were you crestfallen? You must have been crushed when you got bounced off. No, 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 no. I was, really? I, I saw myself on television. I was just like, you went crazy. Yeah, neurotic. It was beautiful. <laughs> that happens to me almost every night right here. Are you really that, oh, that yeah. excited? Yeah, I see. I see. Oh my God! Um... I saw uh, the film you did with uh, Robert De Niro and Ellen Barkin, This Boy's Life. Mm -hmm. that, you know, that was a great, I, and, and I guess, I, and forgive me if this is the wrong term, but it was a small sort of film. It wasn't a huge budget with chase scenes and, well, and no. space. Uh, it made uh, about $8 million, I think. It was, uh... But it was a very nice piece of work, is what I was trying to say, oh, based, well, based on you. a book. And, and I thought that the, the interaction between you and De Niro was especially entertaining. I mean, that was very interesting to watch. Was it a good, did you have a good relationship with him with the film? I did. Bobby De Niro was great. Uh, you called him Bobby. Yeah. There you go. Bobby You're in and show I, business you know. now, pal. <laughs> Bobby De Niro was great. I remember uh, a scene we were doing, actually, uh, where he had his... Did you see the Zippo scene where he's trying to, like, impress my mom, played right. by Ellen Barkin? And Ellen found this so hilarious He's every got time. something he does with the lighter. Yeah, little... he pops it open, yeah. you know, does yeah. his whole you know, thing. And um, Ellen, as soon as she saw Robert De Niro do this, she'd start cracking up immediately. And uh, the whole set was in hysterics. And towards like the 25th take, I got a little agitated because I was usually one that was like getting the laughs around set. So I stand up and I go, you know, guys, can we be a little more professional here? You know, you're laughing all the time. You know, I got things to do. I was a bit of a smart ass. I was 16 years old. I learned my lesson. And uh, Bob takes me aside and he goes, you know, there's a certain line, you know, with jokes. He goes, uh, you know, shouldn't cross that line because sometimes you can't get back. You know? That's right. <laughs> That's right. So I sit there and I come back in my chair and I, my heart is like down, down to my butt and I'm just sitting there. Yeah. Whew, did I mess up? And uh, to that's, take... That's the reason you'll never be back on Romper Room. <laughs> it, goes, it goes on your permanent record. So two takes later, he, they nailed the scene and I, uh, I never actually figured out if he was really angry with me or if it, he wanted to just change the tempo. I have a feeling it was a little of both. But he gave, forgave me for it, actually, at the end. Good. He took me out, and uh, we had a bunch of pies and stuff. <laughs> we, stay right there. Can you stay right there? We're not done with you, son. I'll be here. You haven't been dismissed yet. We have to pause for a commercial. We'll be back here with Leonardo DiCaprio. Wilhelm DiCaprio, Matt Berlin.
You know anything about bowling? You ever done any bowling in your life? No, I, I have bowling shoes, but I don't... You have the bowling shoes, but you don't yeah. do any bowling, just because you like how they make you look. Yeah, it's cool, you yeah. know? Yeah, have the size of your feet right there proudly displayed on the back of your shoes. <laughs> But uh, this is a great story. This is, this is like a, uh, a, a once-in-a-lifetime kind of story. This is a wonderful thing. Uh, Matt Berlin is the man's name from Oswego, New York. He'll be out here a little bit later. And Tanya Tucker, ladies and gentlemen. Tanya Tucker, lovely, talented country western. Uh, tell me about the... You, know, you were talking about romper room and how you were tossed off and nearly arrested. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, what was, like, your first legitimate acting role as a kid. Is now, it, did, did you want to be an actor or did you folks just say here? I wanted to be an actor for a long time, definitely. My first dramatic, uh, real drama was on the new Lassie. Uh -huh. And I think we have a clip of that. But uh, I remember that... <laughs> I, I'm supposed to be the one that tells the people that we okay. have the clips. How would you know anything about our clip inventory? You, you time, That's my absolutely. responsibility. When I don't we have a clip, anything. I turn to the camera and I say, we got a clip, don't we? <laughs> Well, anyway, the funny thing about Lassie was that, uh... uh we have a clip! <laughs> Lassie was actually a female dog. Lassie is supposed to be a female supposed dog. Supposed to be a female, yeah, Lassie. Right. Yeah, Lassie but, Laddie. Laddie would be the male, Lassie's the female. Right. Yeah. So they had five different dogs that were all guys to do the tricks. I guess that the we male dogs... We have five dogs, different poles. Male dogs are smarter or something like that, right? <laughs> what did you say? I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. What are you doing? The male dogs are smarter, is that what you said? That's, I, I don't yeah. know. That's supposedly one was for the tricks, one was for the expressions, right. and this and that, sure. right? So uh, they had a big pregnancy scene where Lassie was giving puppies, and uh, I first realized how That's fake the business... That's hard for the guys. We first realized how fake... I first realized how fake the whole business was when they had to do the pregnancy scene because they had to tape over Lassie's, you know, with some... <laughs> I know you're just a kid, but you possess a wisdom and a maturity <laughs> indescribable here. They had to tape over Lassie's special fur. Yeah. And I was saying, hey, hey, was... hey, this ain't romper room, okay? <laughs> I was a little shocked. Yeah, I was a little disappointed. So uh... disappointed, were you? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, what aspect of that did you find disappointing? Well, I thought they'd use the real thing. Hang on, you know what hang I mean? on, hang on. Roll the clip. Roll the damn clip. Give me a break. Your parents don't understand baseball cards. They don't have to. They understand me. Your parents are going to get you something to wear. Trust me. I know parents have two of them at home. There you go. That's the beautiful oh. Lassie. How old were you there? I couldn't have been 15, 16. That's right. Like that. So the, uh, the the film opens. Uh, when did we say Friday? Is that when it, it opens? This Friday. This yeah. is a real gritty. This is based on the uh, the Jim Carroll book, dark, uh, yeah. the Basketball Diaries, uh, about his life, his struggles, uh, him wrestling with drugs here in New York City. Uh, and uh, I saw it this afternoon. And man, is it intense! It's quite a piece of work. It's definitely intense. You know, I'm pretty proud of it. Good for you, sir. I hope it does well for you. Nice Thank to you see you, Leonardo. Much. Thank you very much. Leonardo DiCaprio. We'll be right back, kids.